In this video, I'll show you how to add text behind a person in CapCut for Windows PC. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I'm doing this tutorial because normally I see people import video and I'll do that. And once they import video, they add it to the timeline, add the text they want to be behind the person, export the video and then re-import the video with the text back in so that they can add that particular or pull off that particular effect. You don't need to do that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add my video onto the track right there. It's just somebody walking. Now, let's assume we want our video to go up to that particular position. So I can click on this and then using Control B, split this footage right there. Or you can use this particular button here to split once you've selected your clip. So I'll delete this particular part, go back home. And this is the clip that I want to have text behind. So we want to achieve that particular effect. It is super simple. Next up, I'm going to add text. Once I add the default text, I'll stretch it to the end where I need it to be. Now, the reason why this is not possible uh, to do it by default is because of one simple issue. And I wish that the folks at CapCut can fix this. If you have text here and a video here and try to add a video on layer on top of this particular one, look at this. There's a blue line that appears and that shows you that the, this footage or this video can only be applied below the text. If I let go, the video goes to the layer below the text. And I feel that they should make it easy that you can add a video or text on whatever layer that you want. That can save a lot of things. But let's delete the video we just added and we have our default text. Let's make some edits to this. Let's say we want the word text to be behind the person. And then we can change the size to about 70. And I'm using the system font and I can make it bold. Something else you can do to the text is that you can add some animation. Uh, let's say we go with maybe a type. Looks like this. Let's say we go with that. And we've added that and you can see a small animation down here. But you can set the duration here to where you want it to be. Let's stretch it a little bit. There we go. Looks good. So now that we're done with adding the text, the animation, and we have everything, we need to combine these two. Please note, you don't need to group it. You need to select both and then right click and click on create compound clip, or you can use Alt G. Click on that. And this is going to be a compound clip. Next up, let's add our video right there. So we've got our video on top and then we can just move it to trim that section till it aligns to what we have. Now, the next thing we're going to use our very powerful tool in CapCut for Windows and it's called the Cutout Tool. And this is the Auto Cutout Tool. It only supports auto recognition of portraits. If I click on this, it's going to process. And once it's done processing, take out everything that was surrounding our talent, that is the background and whatnot. And because we already have this compound clip with the text attached to it, then we're going to see our text behind our talent. So if I go back home here and play this video, there goes our text coming in behind our talent. Looks really good. No need to export and then import the video with the text and then do all that. You can do it straight inside CapCut for Windows using the generate compound clip and the auto cutout in CapCut for Windows. I hope this tutorial is super simple for you. And that is how you can add text behind a person or achieve the text behind a person effect in CapCut for Windows. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.